Hey, what's going on guys? It's Whiskey and welcome back to another episode of Cosmic Sky here on the Cosmic Skybox server. As always, IP can be found below in the description below. Now, when we left off in the last episode, uh, we kind of were showing everybody or I don't know, I gotta remember what the last episode even was because uh, it was recorded and then I recorded something else. But I think it was we built all this down here. We didn't actually build this part. That was off camera. We built all this down here and set up our potato farm. And we are working to complete our potato quota, potato quota, Jesus, <laughs> potato quotas in order to get to carrots. And we have officially done that. Now, if we do IS farming, we can see that our potatoes, we have grown in total 10,000, almost 11,000 potatoes. So we can unlock carrots and we can start planting our carrot recipes. And this was all built yesterday off camera uh, on stream. We were just hanging out, having a good time. And uh, yeah, just, you know, having fun. And we built all that down there. We kind of have decided that we're going to leave this up here just as it is because it's our humble beginnings. Uh, it's, uh, it's we're, we're not going to really change anything of it. And it's just going to kind of be here. And our farms are all going to be set up down below. We're going to build something up above that's going to be coming in the future. I don't know when exactly, but yeah. So we can start working on our carrots. We can start working... We have the money now to be able to start working on some automation of some sorts. Uh, so putting down auto crafting bots, auto mining bots, um, that kind of stuff. Because if we do our IS levels, uh, we can see we're at level five, which means we have been able to put down collection chests. We can place down two auto planters, uh, but we don't have any auto planters yet. Uh, but we do have the money to go ahead and actually level up to level six and to level seven, which I think level seven is the one we want uh, because I think it's the one where you can start putting down auto crafting bots, it is. Uh, also, we can get an enchanting table from that. So that is gonna be what we're kinda, you know, wanting to like level up and really start working towards and start doing. And you might also be wondering, wow, this this video looks a lot clearer and a, uh, it looks a, a, lot, a lot more high definition than the last video. And that is because I am using a new texture pack and a new shader pack uh, that I've just went and set up today. And I like it and I don't like it. There are some things about it that I've just kind of been like, uh, not really keen on, like the water for this one. I don't necessarily like it too much. Uh, so I might actually be changing this water curtain system to just all source blocks down here and blocking it off above. I haven't committed to that idea yet because we're just, we're playing around with stuff. Also, something I don't like about it is, unfortunately, with the texture or the shader pack that I'm using, if I go to my video settings, I'm using SUS uh, PTGI uh, version 7. For some reason, it doesn't like the Cosmic Client. So, uh, also, it's a paid version. You have to actually subscribe to somebody on Patreon to get it. But you can't use the Cosmic Client with it. Uh, for some reason, I don't know if the Cosmic Client doesn't have Optifine 12.2.2 um, or if there's something in the Cosmic Client that just doesn't communicate well with this. Uh, so it is, unfortunately, I am on just a regular Optifine uh, launcher right now so I can be using this because when you really look into it, the textures on these, and I have ray tracing turned on, so it's like, 4k texture right now is what it looks like like you just look at this cobblestone right here and it just it looks amazing and it looks beautiful and i love it so much but there are things about it that i just i don't know if i'm going to be able to use it full time because yeah but the uh the resource packs i am using are default improve and default improve pbr uh so if you do question what resource packs i'm using currently right now uh these are the ones here you can find them just by googling them uh i think i use the twitch launcher download version of it and just downloaded it directly from there but there's also a couple other things that are really nice about this if you have been in my uh, live streams you would have heard me um kind of complaining that my lighting wasn't working properly and like torches actually weren't giving off the light they were sp supposed to with this new shader pack, it is actually fixed and is working for me, so that's great. There's also some other blocks, and we're just going to disconnect real quick and go to a test single player world that I have. There are two blocks that light up in this texture pack, and they are amazing and beautiful looking. Like, lapis and redstone actually light up, and yeah, it it just it looks amazing. Like, 
If I come over here, I can just place that down. Like, it's a light source now. And, the, like, there's a lot of things I want to be doing with this just because that is an option. But it's one of those things of I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Also, the spawn looks amazing right now. Like, oh, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. I love it. Uh, anyways, I'm rambling. I'm getting off track. Uh, there's things I actually need to be working on. So we're going to go back to pee time day so we can see what we're doing. Uh, first things first, we need to, uh, use our Slayer Sams and just kill some of these chickens and rabbits and everything like that. Uh, we do actually have our chickens done so we can start working on our cow farms. Um, uh, but that is something we might get into today. We might not get into today. It's just, uh, gonna kind of... We'll have to wait and see. But first, what we need to do... Where is it? Our farming carrot recipe. We have this now here, and we can actually... Oh, that looked weird. I don't know what that was. But we can actually go ahead and right-click this, claim it. We have carrots unlocked on the island. And if we go into our PV, we were so gracefully... Grace, gracefully? Yeah, that's the word. Donated a lot of carrots. Uh, Theo and then somebody else that was in stream, and I forget your name, and I apologize... Uh, but they were so nice to donate us some carrots that we could use and planting and all that kind of stuff. So the first major thing we're getting into today is we're just going to go down and we're going to place some of our carrots and everything like that. And chat is like wondering if I'm ignoring them right now. Chat, I see you. I just wanted to get through all of that. So yeah. Uh, so we're just going to chill for a bit, go through here and plant all of our carrots and I'll hang out with chat for a little while. Wait, I think that's it. Is that all of them? It looks like it's all of them. It looks like it's all of them. I think we got all of them. Yep, I think it's all of them. Awesome. There we go. Uh, do you think the price for carrots will go back down to two mil? I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. But let's go grab our farmer bobs real quick. And we're going to go ahead down here. We'll grow up uh, one of the newer sections. Just because I know they're not grown yet. Yep. Harvest this. Replant it and then rinse and repeat. Do that again. And then we will be done with our carrot farm for today. I say done, but I mean, I'm going to have to farm it quite a bit. So I, got, I got a lot of farming to do. There we go. All right. So now we have that. We can actually make sure we have that helmet on. We have a couple stacks left. We can just go ahead and sell all on these. You know, almost seventy thousand dollars just from just from that. So it's uh, it's uh, it's, it looks it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. We put our farmer bobs away, and uh, we will now go down here because the next part of today's episode or uh, whatever is uh. You know, furnaces are nice, but having to actually come in, grab everything, put more fuel in, and all that is kind of a pain in the butt, and it's it gets to be annoying. It gets to be annoying. So there is a really easy, not necessarily cheap, um, solution for this. It involves hoppers, uh, chests, and all that kind of stuff, and I'm sure you've actually, I'm pretty sure everybody has already seen this, um this design on how to do it uh utility no it's under containers right yes so we're just gonna go ahead i have one two three four five six down here so i need one for the bottom one feeding in top one feeding in there okay so i need six times three is 18 so i need 18 of these guys unless my math is really bad which if it is i haven't been in a math class in like six years five years six years something like that so we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna pick all these guys up and i do have some chests here i'm gonna need some trap chests as well uh yeah, we'll just that should be enough should be enough so uh what we're gonna do is grab our regular chest from here grab our trap chest we're gonna go ahead and place these guys down just like that switch over to this one then to this one, then to this one, 
back to this one. And then... Nope. Uh, what's all in this? Okay, I can just pick this up. No biggie. We're fine. And then... Here. Okay. Then we're going to come in and we're going to place a hopper on top of each of these guys. Just like so. Take a furnace or furni and place it on top just like that. And now anything that gets cooked in this area will automatically get pulled down into the hopper and into the chest. Uh, next, we're going to want to come up behind and place these guys right into the back side of this and then take one and place it right onto the top side as well. The way that the hopper on the back works, it actually works as the fuel source. So you put your charcoal, you put your coal, you put your wood, whatever you want to put to cook with, you put it into the here and it will actually automatically put it into the cooking spot or the fuel spot. And then the ones on top will be for the items that you're wanting to cook. So if we come in now, so I think this was a regular chest. I think that was a regular chest. So we're just going to put a regular chest right there. A trap chest. Whoop. Flying and shift building is one of the most annoying things ever. And then regular chest, trap chest, regular chest, and yeah. Uh, is that a Sandman hat? This is. This is a John Sandman hat. It's like my hat I wear every day. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, we're going to need some more chap chest, that's for sure. So just pick up a few of these guys. And then this was the trap chest. So another chest there. One there. One there. One there. There. And almost perfect. Nope. I say that. And then I misplaced that. And then here. So now what I can do is I can come into here and place, those are cooked, all these uncooked potatoes. I can place all these raw chicken in here. Uh, and that will actually start feeding down into these two here. And you can actually see it's already building up there. Uh, I'm going to place down a temporary chest over here just to degub everything because I would like to have a nice full inventory uh, just to be able to buy lots and lots of wood because we're going to need... A few full inventories of wood. There we go. Uh, turn that chest around right now. Which chest? Which which one? Which which one? Does that does that bug you, binary? Binary, does it bug you that these aren't even? I think all these are right yeah <laughs> all right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put uh basically just a lot of uh, wood into these chests and it's going to take kind of a, a middle mouse button full into oh that's right that is a that is a uh a thing isn't it see this is why i keep twitch chat around um uh, because they remember things that I forget. And now it's just being spammed in my chat. Go middle mouse button. I wish there was a way just to like auto fill these guys. Oh, didn't want to do that. There we go. Also, don't forget to sell out. I haven't sold out in a while in chat. That's right. You're right. You're right. I keep wanting to do that. Okay. And this should effectively run for a, f a day or so, I'd say. I think last season when I had this set up, uh, it pretty well would run uninterrupted for about a day. As long as you were putting more materials you needed to be cooked in it it kind of you know just went on and did its own thing and just kept going perfect so now that's going and i even could top it off because you're gonna see like 
as it feeds into the hopper and into the furnace, it uh, does free up some slots, but we're not going to worry about that at this time. You can see it is working. Everything is cooking. It's not getting stuck there. It actually just automatically goes down into the furnace. And do I have anything else to cook? I don't think I do. Um, anything in here? I had potatoes somewhere. I had a lot of potatoes that need to be cooked. And I can't up here some of them. And then what about... Yep, more in here. You guys can see my inventory is a mess. And uh, it's never going to change. Yell at me all you want. It will never change. So we're just going to come and each of these is just going to get about a full row. Uh, just so it's split up. And this will make my life a little bit easier. I've been like waiting to sell all this or cook all this because it's just like I don't want to spend the time manually moving it over. But yeah, so that is basically how you set up an easy and semi expensive um, auto cooking farm. And I think somebody in chat says like 75, like 80K probably per. Like I think it's 75 just for the hoppers. But when you count the chest and the furnace itself, it's like 82k probably just to get one of these set up. So it does cost kind of a bit of money. Uh, it's something to remember when you are building this. Uh, but yeah, and now I think and Lultz is just staring at my chicken creepily. I I I don't know how I feel about that. Lultz, what are you He's staring at the chicken? Okay, you just do you, Lutz. You do you. I'm just going to go over here, away from you. Kind of giving off the serial killer vibe. Um, but next, what we can actually start working on is somewhere amongst all these. We have auto mining bots uh, that we can start. I need these pickaxes down here. I have pickaxe somewhere. Uh, there we go. Uh, we have an auto mining bot that we can actually place down and start working with. Uh, just to get our IS mining level increased, because if we look at our mining level, we can see that um, we have... Oh, we've actually unlocked coal resources. I did not realize we got that done. Okay, cool. So that's going to change us up just a tad, but we want to work to where we can start getting our cobblestone done and our, I mean, our iron done and like, you know, getting up there kind of a ways. So we're going to grab... Our iron, not our iron, our coal nodes. And we're going to throw, we're going to pick this guy up. Just like that. We're going to place down our coal nodes right here. Uh, I'm actually going to pick these guys up. Just because I'm kind of like... Not really a whole lot of space that I want to dedicate to this. I mean, I could, but... Yeah, that works. So all this is coal. So we're going to place this guy right here. Because if we shift right click him, we can see that his radius is a two by two by two. Uh, so that means he's going to mine underneath him. And he's going to mine these two out to the side. These two out to the side. Two out this way. And two out this way. As I think. As long as I have that right. Also, this texture pack, he doesn't have a face. He doesn't have a face and it is kind of scaring me. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to give this guy a pickaxe and he's just going to casually be mining uh, the rest of these. And every once in a while, he'll mine one up. Not going to worry right now on the actual. Actually, I guess I should. I should. Now that I think about it, we're going to pick this guy back up. We're going to pick this block up and move it to right there. I guess we're going to get another hopper right in here and we'll pick up a chest uh, so what we're going to do is break that out we're going to place our chest right there put the hopper on top of it and then place our mining man right there so where anything he mines it gets dropped at their feet so there's a couple ways you could do this you could have a water source going right over it you could have a collection chest picking it up which i don't know why i just didn't do the collection chest or you can have a, him on a hopper, and anytime he mines, it will automatically go down into um, the chest right there. So, yeah. So he's going to be going along and doing that just while I'm AFK. Obviously, while I'm not AFK, I can just grab my own pickaxe. 
and just coming through here, mine it up if I'm just trying to level up stuff myself or if I need resources or anything like that. But this is primarily just so that he will, you know, work for me while I'm doing other stuff, while I'm farming, while I'm, you know, doing the cattle stuff, all, all that kind of stuff. He's going to he's going to be doing the work for me. And what we can even do after is see, we have that right there. We could even grab this auto crafting bot and have that hop, that chest feed into a hopper that leads into this guy. And we could have him start turning this into cobblestone, but I'm not going to do that because it's not worth it to waste it on just turning it into cobblestone. This guy's actually going to be a lot more viable once we set up a fully automated chicken farm and we get the uh, carrot rest or the rabbit stew recipe because we can have him auto crafting our carrots and our rabbit into stew and make a lot more money uh, that way. So it's uh, it's going to be more beneficial, that's for sure. But there are auto killing farms that we can do. I'm going to say that for another video because I'm going to talk to Glad. I think I'm going to have Glad in here explaining it because it is her design. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to check out her Twitch channel. She does uh, some really impressive redstone and auto bots and crafting bots, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it is quite impressive the things she comes up with, and it's, uh, yeah, it's really nice. But guys, I think that's actually going to be it for today's episode. Uh, not a full, long grinding episode, kind of, I think, shorter. I say that, and I'm going to look at the video and see it's probably like half an hour or something. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. We had a couple things that we just wanted to get done, and uh, actually, before I forget... We have our kit that we can claim now because we are IS level 7, which means our stuff does get increased kind of a bit. And we can get ourselves some cow spawners, which we need a coal resource node, which is also amazing to have. Uh, coal, for some reason, is white on this texture pack. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, what else did we get? A life forge, some money, execute one. So we're just going to go ahead over to here. We'll place down these cow spawners just like that so some cows can start spawning and i can start working on that and getting everything else set up and going but guys i think it's going to be it for real this time for today's episode don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're not and turn on notifications so you know when i post new videos also if you're picking up anything off the store remember to use code somebody at checkout doesn't have to be my code if you want to use my code it's code whiskey but you can use any of the other content creators they all make amazing content and anytime you use their code it means a lot but until next time, guys, I will see you when I see you. Bye.